Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to go over with you guys uh, some stuff that happened today on FIFA Ultimate Team. A little market talk video for your Saturday. First of all, good luck on your weekend leagues if you're playing Foot Champions for the Team of the Season rewards. Um, and obviously, this next week's rewards will come out on the 18th of July. And that is going to be after um, this new Batch 2 of players is going to be released in packs. So I want to make note of that to you guys today. Uh, when you're playing weekly this weekend, make sure that you realize that probably it's going to be good to try to push for a higher rank if you can, if you want to, if that's something you want to do to get the better packs and the better rewards because there's going to be that second batch of players in packs when you open your rewards on Thursday. And we'll talk a little bit about that second batch of players at the end of the video. But first, I want to focus on what happened today in FIFA ultimate team we got a couple SBCs obviously the footies wait that's not the one that I was gonna look at the footies winner aerial threat this was the the SBC that we got today the Perisic SBC five star four star um, I think most people thought he was gonna be the winner there was a select few out there that I thought that I thought Poulsen was gonna win um, but this card looks great now it seems like they're going one on and one off with these footies SBCs it really does, to be honest, because we got, um, well, you know, maybe not one on one off. This is the third footies SBC that we've gotten, but it seems like they're, they're going back and forth with SBCs that they keep putting out. The first footies SBC we got with Lozano, very cheap, very affordable. It was so cheap. The next one we got with um, Fred, it was okay. I mean, decent value for the card, but a bit overpriced. That's kind of how I feel about this one as well. If we go look at the active challenges on Footbin right now, this aerial threat footies winner, Perisic is at 438,000 coins. That's what this card is going to cost you right now on the market. And his 90 rated foot birthday SBC um, would, have, would have cost you about the same. So if you look at it that way, that's decent value for that. But it's a huge drop to his 88 rated Europa League Man of the Match card at 29 or 30,000 coins. That's a huge, huge drop, and the stat boost is nice. It's a very, very good card, well-rounded, great stats. But at this point of the game, I'm not entirely sure if he's a game-breaker. I mean, he might be a super sub. Some teams he's going to get in, but it doesn't seem like he's going to be super-duper meta or anything super insane. So do with, it, do with it what you will. 386 rated squads is what it requires, I believe. 286s in an 85 with some Team of the Week players uh, involved there as well so i wanted to talk about that card today and a couple market movements along with it there's always going to be stuff that rises with these footies sbcs um now you kind of have to look at each sbc for the way it is now obviously the, the easy if you think about the people what i mean by that is if you think about the people who are going to do this parasitic sbc are probably people that have a lot of coins and just want to card collect and have cool cards in the club well um, if you're going to get a card like that in your club, who are you going to put with him? You're probably going to get this Tots 9 Golden card to link with him, right? You know, it would just make sense. If you have enough coins to do that at Parasitch SBC, as it is a bit overpriced, this is the very logical card to link him with. This card did go up to a decent amount. It's 1.3 MPS. He went from about a million coins on Xbox, up about over 150,000 coins increase in price today. If you look on the hourly graph as well, He's been closer to 1.2 at one point in the day. He went to, up to 1.2 right away, kind of settled around 1.6, 1.7 where he is now. Um, but there's always going to be investments like this that you can make. Now tomorrow, or actually today when this video goes live, we're going to be getting another SBC. It's going to be either Draxler, it's going to be uh, Shakiri, or Kovacic. I think those are the three. Now, out of those three, there's two Premier League players in there. But I've heard a ton of people that have voted for Draxler, and I'm honestly thinking that you might see Draxler win tomorrow. Other than that, I think maybe Shakiri would win. I don't know. This is kind of a tough one to tell. That's why I don't think I'm going to invest for it. But if it's an SBC that you see drop right away, and this is something that you can um, get good at for when FIFA 20 comes out and for when SBCs come out in FIFA 20, right at the 6 p.m. UK drop tomorrow on the content drop, Head over to the live tab section, see who the player is. Let's say that it is um, Shakiri. That card's going to have some hype around it. 
you're gonna have to think right away what card is gonna link with Shakiri. Then what you're gonna wanna do is don't go and buy those links right away. Go into the SBC, make sure you see the price. If I see that Shakiri card tomorrow, let's say they boost him up bigger than life. Let's say they give him an incredible card. I'm just, we're just basically saying the Shakiri is gonna win. This is totally just um, prospecting and just, this is not guaranteed. Let's say Shakiri wins, all right? Let's say they give him plus 10. They boost up his card crazy high and they make the SBC affordable. That's the huge thing. If they make the SBC affordable or they have good packs back, that's easy to see when you're looking through here. Let's say you open up the Shakiri SBC. It costs you an 84 rated squad, an 85 rated squad, and an 83 rated squad with two informs. And they gave him a plus 10 boost. He's got a four star weak foot, five star skills. He's Liverpool right wing in the Prem. That's gonna be a card that a ton of people do. And let's say that one of the packs back, you get a 50K pack. Everybody's gonna go flock and do that squad. It's gonna cost you 250, 300,000 coins. And so many people are gonna do it, all right? This is again, pure speculation. But you log in and you see that, that's when you know, hey, I can go buy some link investments to this because there's gonna be some stuff that goes up with the link investments. Perfect example A of this was Conte with the Jabi, or not, I keep saying Jabi Alonso, Marcus Alonso, the SBC that came out earlier this week. This inform Conte was 170,000 coins. I bought this inform for 170,000 coins right after the SBC came out and I sold a couple of them. I sold one for 217 and another one for 210. So this card went up a lot in price just because it had that link and that SBC was very popular and a ton of people did it. Whatever card comes out tomorrow, if that is the same case, again, affordable, good packs back and a big boost, very popular card. Um, then I think people would go out and do that SBC and then you would see some links rise. So again, links for Shakiri. Look at like a Tots Wijnaldum. That would be a good link because you're gonna have a right wing to a center mid. Maybe some variation of Roberto Firmino getting a link to a center attacking mid or you can move Firmino to center mid or Firmino at striker. Um, stuff like that, links to Liverpool players. There's not any other um, Switzerland players in the Prem that are used a lot. So the Liverpool links would be your best bet there. Trent Alexander-Arnold right back, the FFS, the team of the season. Looking at stuff like that, um, that's again, just saying if Shakiri won. Now if Draxler won, you could look at some, um, you could look at some PSG cards. Maybe some ones out of the ordinary, like a Cavani would go up because you could get that Draxler at center attacking mid because that card would be probably pretty dope. Um, they'd get a good big, a good uh, boost as well. And then maybe some center backs from PSG, you know, linking him to some center backs and some right backs uh, or left back, you know, stuff like that. So that's again, one way that you can um, maybe trade around these new SBCs that do come out today on a FIFA Ultimate Team, whether it's the Draxler, whether it's the Shakiri, or whether it is the Kovacic. Um, two Chelsea players, that would be, that would be pretty sick. I think a lot of people would match up that Kovacic with the Alonso and the Davo Luis. You could have like a Chelsea trio if, if, uh, if Kovacic won uh, tomorrow. But again, uh, the last thing that I wanted to get into on this video, we'll keep it short and sweet for your Saturday, is um, looking ahead at FIFA Ultimate Team. And this next batch, I mentioned this earlier in the video, the next batch of cards that are gonna be in packs. And we'll go to the FIFA 19 footies uh, legit EA page for this. This is what they said about best of. So the best of items, where is it at, where is it at, where is it at, right here. The first batch will be released on July 3rd. The second batch will be released on July 17th. So that is this coming Wednesday. Basically for the team of the weekday, they're gonna release this batch into packs. And the third batch, which will be released on July 31st, will include some of the top players from both of the first two batches. So these two first two batches are different, and then the third one combines the best players from the first two. I think the second batch is gonna be a lot better. I think a lot of people are in agreement with me on this. Um, it has the potential to be a lot better if you look at some of the stuff that has been left out. We're not getting team of the years because this website says very clearly right here, excluding team of the year. So that tells me the team of the seasons are gonna be back in packs in some variation or form. I don't think they can throw all team of the seasons back in packs, but if they do, that would be absolutely mental and I would love it. But I think that might be a little over the top. So they might do a variation, they might pick 11 players from each team of the season 
and put another 200 players in packs as long as well as team the knockout stage foot or not for birthday excuse me team the knockout stage carnival headliners wherever those are and ffs those are like the big major promos that we haven't seen put back into packs yet so if you have any of these ffs cards headliners um carnival team of the knockout stage or even some tots cards i would start to look at maybe getting them out of your team if you're worried about losing a lot of coins and if you saw what happened to these other cards that have been in packs for two weeks i would definitely say sell them and if you want to get them back in your team get them back you know, a couple days later, at least after rewards on Thursday, because if the the amount of drops on these cards after they went into packs has been absolutely mental. Griezmann going from 788k, he was under wow, he was under 300,000 coins on Thursday after when that SBC drop for Marcus Alonso that created a lot of panic in the market. But it, he went from 700k to 300 300k basically. Um, Douglas Costa, very popular center attacking mid, Brazilian in the Serie A, 158k. He was 280 down to 160. So you're going to have major drops across the board with these players going back into packs. Literally every single player dropped. Some of them didn't drop as much. Like Van Dyke wasn't super effective. He actually went up um, a good amount. Wow, it's crazy. Van Dyke went up a good amount. But he's Van Dyke and he's just crazy, you know? That's just how Van Dyke is. But a lot of these cards just get packed and get packed and get packed and they drop a ton. So for most of those other special teams that you have out here, Carnivals, I mean, you, you're going to see this Neymar card drop a lot coming back into packs. Gabriel Jesus, this Dybala card, this Mertens. You know, a lot of these cards are going to drop as they come back into packs. You're going to want to be ahead of the game with this. And I'm telling you guys about it now because it is early on. This headliner Pogba is going to be back in packs, most likely. 1.3 million coins. This card might hit like 800k. How sick would that be? That would be pretty, pretty dope. He hasn't been under a million for like all year. 1.3 right now. I could see this card at like 800, 900,000 coins with the re-entrance back into packs uh, for Paul Pogba. And a lot of this stuff is going to drop even more as well. So that's what I wanted to give you guys a heads up on. If you have any of those cards in your club, to look out for those. And maybe uh, maybe take a chance at selling them a little early and uh, taking the coins on, them, on those. Because there is a lot of chance that they're going to be in included in that batch two. And that supply, as you have seen this week with batch number one, has absolutely... Uh, demolished those cards prices on the market now we'll talk a little bit more about that stuff later in this week probably on the monday market outlook video two days before but if you guys are worried about losing coins the most you'll probably be able to maximize your price for those cards the ffs the cards that are going to be in batch two basically um, i would get those out probably today because the weekend league rush is still there for the most part people are still playing weekend league they're getting their games in um, for the weekend league. I would try to get those cards out today if you're really worried about losing coins. If you're not too worried, wait until the early part of the week, play your full weekend league with that team um, and just get rid of those cards then. But if you do have a lot of those cards in your club, um, especially the FFS, Carnival, Knockout Stage, and Headliners, the team of the seasons, I wouldn't worry about too much yet. But I do think we're going to see those cards start to trend down into Wednesday as people realize, hey, these cards are going to be probably... Put into packs people are going to be thinking ahead and kind of know that so that's what i wanted to talk about with you guys today um hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully your weekend league is going well again as i said make sure you play i'm going to try to play the extra games this week to see if i can get all 30 in and get as high of a rank as i possibly can even if it's just gold one again to get those 200k packs for all the cards that could be in packs um it should be a good one this week with best of set two coming out i'm excited to see what they do with that if you if you enjoyed the video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate foot account catch you guys later peace out